Good day all. So, some time back I had an idea about trying to get my jetty radio to talk crossfire. Now, you, you probably remember some videos some time back and basically what I did is I connected up a JL module into a PPM port and I kind of used the PPM port to do everything. But it just, it works but you lose all the telemetry and all that sort of stuff. And I wasn't so happy with that. So I, I kind of hatched a plan to try build a protocol converter, essentially something that would talk crossfire to crossfire and actually output a CSRF signal with full telemetry into the module and translate that into a language that the Jetty radio could receive. Now, I have got, let me unplug it here, it's probably going to start beeping because the batteries, oh, I'm going to have to plug it in here because my battery's so flat, been powering this off USB. Right, there, so, we have one of the um, Jetty, ooh, is this the 8 channel or 9 channel, I don't know, it's the DS12, the Jetty DS12, I've got a couple of Jetty radios. So, um, you will notice, we have some telemetry values coming in, and that's pretty fantastic, and thing is how did I do that well in fact before I even show you just to prove something I'm going to get my aircraft over here so I've got my little trusty nano goblin and you will note there's a crossfire antenna on this and I'm going to get this one and just for the hell of it I'm going to turn the vario on and you hear that beeping watch what happens Okay, so we've proven conclusively, oh, they low TX voltage going, going there, sort of that. So we've proven we have telemetry coming from that. And essentially to do this, I had to write a mile and a half of code to get this to work. And, you know, quite frankly, I am not the best coder. I am, I'm an, a mediocre coder at best. But um, I started looking around and digging into all of this and I discovered that the little teensy boards, these are little um, processors, which um, I've actually got one over here. There are lots of wires attached to it. Oh, let me, you see, I'm very unprepared, aren't I? Uh, I'm gonna disconnect my logic analyzer. There we go, all hooked up. I've got a little teensy board. And uh, this is actually the working demo that I've got running. And what I've had to do is basically code this little board to receive a signal from my jetty receiver Okay. Pick up the signal which is using a protocol called XBUS, which Jetty supports, which has full telemetry and channel information, and then feed that out into my Crossfire module, which you can see I've just for now temporarily wired it into the pins. Now, the net result of all of this is that magically, this over here, I'm actually just going to disconnect that and plug this in. This will magically actually work. And we can see all the channels. So I'm using my jetty, which is talking to my jetty receiver over here, which is then feeding the information into the Teensy board, converting it into Crossfire and sending it on. And in the meantime, I've got all my telemetry values. And one of the key things here, you'll notice I've got, if I can get that up, my GPS coordinates showing, and I've also got my RSSI values and link quality showing. And that's just so useful because it kind of bridges the two systems. Um, and it kind of has just given me something which actually in the end gives me the perfect ground station relaying system for the jetty. Now, if I used my jumper radio or something like that, big deal, I don't need it. But at the end of the day, it gives me an option and I like having options. And I'm very, very chuffed with how this project has turned out. Um, so much so, I'm going to tackle myself to the next project, which will basically be bringing a multi-protocol module to the Jetty protocol. And essentially, I'm thinking a little box with an OLED display, which I can set all, am I talking DSM, am I talking whatever, you know, and convert that into XBus. Because um, as good as these radios are, you get very locked in to the jetty system and that is a superb system i can't recommend it more 
until you try to run other systems. And kind of, I'm just trying to bridge this gap a little bit in. For the sake of what costs 25 to 30 odd pounds to make, I don't know what that would be in dollars, probably a similar dollar price, you can effectively just tie the two together and it works. The only downside, what you require is a ground station type relay system, but hey, I'm running a tracker and a ground station anyway, so big deal, it kind of works for me. <laughs> anyway, guys, I am going to plug links to the various source code and projects down below. They're all up on GitHub or completely open source. There are descriptions on how to build these. And if you guys do have any random interest in this, get a build one, try it, it's not that hard.